Oh, welcome back, everyone. It's our favorite interview of the week. We have three little kittens in from the Capital Humane Society. Yeah. And Matt is here, too, I guess. Yep. So, yeah. Chop liver. Yep, I guess. All right, who do we got here? All right, we got Joey, Gracie, and Hank. Hi, Hank. Joey, Gracie, Hank. And so they are Joey, about Gracie. 10 weeks old. They're all litter mates, so they're all yep. domestic short hairs. And so the two boys are neutered, and she's spayed now. But they all came in as lost kittens at the end of last month, right after Thanksgiving. And nobody came looking for them. And so they spent a little bit of time in a foster yep. home. Uh, to get a little bit bigger and also they are a tad bit shy so need a little confidence boost and so spent a couple weeks in foster care and so now they've got all their their veterinary work done like i said uh -huh. spayed and neutered and they're microchipped and got their initial vaccinations and so now they're now they're looking for their new homes just in time for 2024. what about uh, joey's getting a little he's getting a little rambunctious little, little, yeah. yeah gracie's just She's resigned to the fact Hank, that she's being held. I think Hank's she's in, accepted it. Hank's but. in good shape. I can confirm they're very soft. Yeah, I'm talking about yes, you. Yep. So they, yep, there you I go. mean, they're very, they're very cute and just a little bit shy. So probably yep. a slightly quieter home would be good for them. Um, maybe not so chaotic. Let yep. them settle in, grow up a little bit, get comfortable with life. But, you know, when, when they are comfortable, they're very playful. Yep. And uh, in that foster home, you know, they did great once they settled in. But just a little shy. But uh, if you want to adopt them all together, you can certainly do that. You know, you can adopt all three or, or two or, or just one at a time, but they're all going to be available once we're done here. Now, I know there's not a three for one special right now, but I know you guys have but, a, a promotion going yeah, on right so now. Yeah, so we have adoption promotion going on right now. So it's called the Home for the Holidays yep. Adoption Promotion. So right now, adoption fees on all pets that are up for adoption, uh, adoption fees are reduced by 50%. So that goes through this Sunday, the 31st. And so that applies to all three of them. And... So all the dogs, puppies, cats, kittens, uh, critters, we got a lot of uh, rabbits and mm -hmm. guinea pigs right now. And so take advantage of that, uh, especially if you're taking time off this week and uh, can help get that new pet acclimated to the new home. Is this a tougher time for you guys at the, the shelter right now, the holiday season? Do you get more, more pets coming in, more, less pets? What do you got? Um, we're still seeing quite a few yeah. coming in. Actually, today is like the first day in about uh, a month plus that we have under 300 pets in the shelter. Wow. So. We had a really good uh, weekend, even with the holiday, and uh, yesterday was a really good adoption day too, and so hopefully the rest of the week will go well with that adoption promotion and get, get that number down even, even further. Lots of homes for the holidays, for sure. Uh, what do you guys need right now at the, at the shelter? So still need canned food. Yep. Uh, we go through quite a bit of canned food, especially with uh, you know kittens and, and with some of the dogs, and so uh, Hills canned food uh, for dogs, cats, kittens, uh, that's always something we need, and so uh, if folks are, are willing to donate, uh, we would greatly appreciate it, but also just volunteering. Volunteering to be a foster parent. Uh, you know, during the holiday season, a lot of people start traveling and stuff, and so the kind of the foster homes yep. dwindle a little bit, and so if you're interested, definitely check out our website get signed up to be a foster parent because uh, plenty of pets are going to need a foster home. And really quickly, a lot of uh, loud noises happening for New Year's Eve celebrations. How do you kind of handle that with your pets? Yeah, so especially with the dogs, you know, definitely yeah. keep them inside. Know your dog. Um, and, you know, if you need to set them up in a room with, you know, the TV on or radio on to kind of drown out that noise, uh, keep that in mind and, and make sure they have a collar uh, with tags on. Make sure gates and doors are secure and Hopefully keep them safe and, and nobody goes missing over, over New Year's. All right, sounds good. Matt, thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Joey, Gracie, and Hank up for adoption right now at the Capital <laughs> Humane Society. We'll be right back, everyone. Say bye, guys. <laughs> bye.